Hey everybody, it's Mike. It's Father's Day. Well, it's not probably Father's Day when you're watching this because it's Father's Day today. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't take a year for me to get this video out because this is a short one. I've got, uh, I found a few hours on Father's Day to be out in the shop. And I've decided I'm just going to grab some scraps that I've got laying around. And I'm going to make a couple of spatulas, I think. I just want kind of a nice, easy project just to spend some time in the shop make something useful so we're gonna go around the shop we're gonna gather up some scraps see what we've got I know I've got some mahogany from the coffee table build which is probably not on the internet yet hopefully this one will get up before that one uh, I know I've got some maple laying around some walnut laying around uh, a bunch of softwood laying around I'm gonna steer away from that um, some oak I'm gonna steer away from that because it's got big fat pores that'll absorb things but we'll see what we can find and we'll cut them into strips and glue them back together and cut some spatulas out of them what do you say i say that sounds good it's a good father's day let's go i have a bunch of strips of maple in here i'm gonna grab a bunch of those and good oh yeah lots of strips of maple in there okay uh That'll do for there, I think. Go over here. These are leftover bits from the coffee table. This is an African mahogany. Oh, that's a good fat one. I could do most of a special all by itself. And uh, a couple other little strips. Mahogany. And usually got some scraps down in this little drawer. Whoop. Big piece of walnut, uh, maybe uh, some more maple. Oh, it's a hey, look at this. We've got an old laminated bits of maple and walnut here. Looks like most of a spatula handle. A piece of walnut, some more maple, some more walnut. Anything long enough, that's that'll do. Okay, that. Lots of strips. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's too short. Oh, what's that? We got a piece of purple heart. It might not be long enough, but we'll see. What's this? That's gas. Piece of paduke in there. A little strip cut off from something. Throw that in. Uh, probably do it. Another uh, random maple bit. Okay. All right. There we go. Got some random strips of stuff. That's more than enough for a couple of spatulas. Let's put them together and see what we got. I don't want like that. I think, uh, that one's a little rough on one side. Find some stuff that's already been... Oh yeah! Look at this big guy here. What's uh... Put some strips of stuff in the middle of that, maybe. Strip of maple in there. Some walnut, this piece of padouche. Maybe maple either side of the padouche. In the middle of that piece of mahogany. I like that. That'll look pretty cool. Let's split this piece of mahogany down the middle and we'll just sandwich maple and paduke down the middle of it. Cut a spatula out of that. That look that'll look pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, approximately middle. I'm just gonna eyeball the middle. Whatever. Right on. You guys might be in the way. Here. You guys see my push stick? Oh, there it is. I'm 
my push stick. I got my push stick at the end there. I don't know if you heard that, but I did. All right, so now these two maple paduk strips in the middle. That's ah, gonna look pretty cool, I think. And what do we got for width? Just about four. That might not be quite enough. I'm gonna put a piece of walnut on either side. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this one down because it's sitting fairly proud and I don't wanna have to just plane all that off later. So, let's go. That. piece of walnut on either side just put little tips on the end of the paddle part of the spatula Looks like wide enough. Yeah, four and a quarter. That looks like a plenty wide spatula to me. All right, let's glue it up. All right, good news. My four inch C clamps are just big enough to fit around there. So I'm gonna need something bigger for the end to the, for those little extra pieces. But I can get my C clamps around this. So got it all figured out where I want everything to go. I'm put these aside. Do this part. So now I got 
my blanks for my spatula. Spatula. That's the plural of spatulas. Uh, no, the plural of, plural of spatula. Spatula. Maybe. Uh, but I've got to get. I've got to get an angle cut on these things. I don't want to sand these things down to a thin point at the end, like a spatula is. So what I'm going to do is I want to run these through my table saw this way. But if I raise this blade up and put it on like five degree angle or something, and I try to run these things through along the fence, and like that is not a safe operation. That would be stupid. Don't do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, essentially a, a tenoning jig with this random piece of 2x4, uh, what, cedar, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to make a piece that rides along the fence that this can clamp to. And another piece that goes that way for it to back on so that I can push this through the blade safely. Let's do that. So, we'll start by uh, just cross-cutting this. To a random length that's high enough for me to use. clamp to over here. Let's call it over there. I got a random mark on the board already, like from pulling it out of the wood pile. I don't know what this was marked for before, but that's where I'm going to cut it for no reason. So that'll clamp that way. And this will ride along the fence like that. So it'll all move together. I just gotta screw these together. as it's going. I'm not going to tilt it a whole lot. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Oh, we'll try whatever that is. That's about uh, five degrees. Like I said, this is not to get rid of all of the wood. It's okay. just to keep me from having to sand quite so much later. Theoretically, we can make a safe cut. Sure, the blade's not going to hit anything clampy or metal. Give it a go.
of smoke because it doesn't like cutting through that much hardwood at one go. Uh, I may rethink this. I don't like that. I'll come back to you. We'll figure this out. Okay, so I think we're gonna we're gonna take this a little bit slower, and we're gonna do a cut like that, and then raise the blade and do another cut, and then raise the blade and do another cut because. I don't want to push my motor hard enough to make it smoke. That's a bad sign. So, uh, that side's done. I'm going to clamp it back in. That way. And uh, go a little slower. Most of the way through it. The rest of it, I'm just gonna get with, I don't know, flush trim saw. Actually, I bet my Dozuki will get through that. Yeah, it will. All right, I'm gonna mount this up in the clamp and just go through it like that. This is just for rough shape anyway. I'm going to sand it all up later. Love this saw. Alright. There we go. So, now we've got a tapered bottom on our blank. I'm going to give it a quick sand to get rid of those little ridges. And draw out my pattern, and we'll move over to the bandsaw. Okay, so, I mean, spatula doesn't, doesn't have that many, uh, that much complicated stuff going on, so, uh, I'm gonna get some of this, some of this walnut and purple heart out here. I, this is, get as close to this point as I can. I'm gonna sweep across kind of on an angle like this, give it a little bit of shapiness. Get some of this walnut purple heart up here. Cut back across like that. There we go, just a little point of the color out there. Nice curve down there, nice point down there. I don't know if this is showing up on the uh, video here, but you'll see what I've done when it's done. Narrow this down across here, bring it in, what about, I don't know, maybe an inch for a handle. So bring it down to about, yeah, we go there and keep this 
centered in the bottom but then I'm gonna do like a sort of a curvy and I'll just fancy it up a little bit so widen this out a little it's not gonna be about an inch there that's about an inch and then I'm gonna curve it up this way Maybe like that, or so. About an inch from there is about there. I'll just follow that curve along. And we'll come back down. And back the other way. I want to end about back in the middle. So I'm going to grab some kind of, hey, the lid off this Gatorade bottle. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And come back like that. And you guys might not be able to see what's going on, so we'll move you in. An inch, about like that. About that. There we go. That's pretty snazzy. I don't know if that's showing up. Actually, I'm going to extend this curve a little bit. And I'm just going to bring it straight down into the... And this is what's fun about spatulas, is you just... You just figure out what curves look nice and... Go with it. It's your spatula. Now I sound like Bob Ross. Like you, yeah, it's it's your spatula. You can you can add a fluffy little cloud. You can add a happy little tree. <laughs> And you know what? It's a bunch of scraps from the shop. If it if I don't like it when it's done, it was a bunch of scraps from the shop, and it was a fun afternoon.
All right, we're all sanded up to, what did I go to? 240, I think, yeah. 240, it's nice and roundy. I think it's pretty cool. A little flowy, little spatula for some scraps. This is the African mahogany, walnut, purple heart, maple, paduke. Scraps from the shop. We're gonna hit it with some Howard's feed and wax. Beeswax, orange oil, carnuba oil, stuff, give a shake, and watch this stuff light up, it is just going to be gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? You guys getting some lens? That's that is a pretty thing. So yeah, just gonna give this a couple coats of this today. Let it soak in, buff it. Maybe give it one more coat in a couple of days. And she's ready to go. Start flipping some food. Wow. That's awesome. All right. Scrap wood spatula. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Happy Father's Day. Even though it won't be Father's Day anymore when you're watching this. Uh, I hope you had a happy Father's Day. I did. I did this. I went on a pizza date with my kid. Um, I had hot dogs and poutine for dinner. Alright. It's hot in my shop. I'm going to just get the rest of this thing coated. I'm going to have a beer. I suggest you do the same. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when I'm doing something else.